to predict the NMR chemical shifts, definitely we start by generating the structure. Select the structure and uh, from the menu bar go to the structure tab and then down there there is a section for predict NMR chemical shifts that can be proton NMR or carbon NMR chemical shifts. Let's use proton NMR chemical shifts for now. So uh, when we click there we have this window that shows the spectrum and also the numerical data for the proton NMR shift for each proton. Uh, from the compound here, for example, we have the proton NMR chemical shift for the OH proton occurring at 9.44. This is actually in agreement with what we expect to be highly downfield shifted because the oxygen is highly electronegative so it draws electrons from the proton in the ortho position the protons there resonate at 6.66 .6, while in the meta position they resonate at 7.31 i don't have to tell you that the oh on the ring is an ortho paradirector that means that the electron density at the meta position is very low. So because of the very low electron density at the meta position, the meta protons are relatively more deshielded compared to the ortho protons. From this side of the substituent, we have a methyl carbon bonded to a carbonyl carbon. And the methyl protons, for that reason, they are highly deshielded because the, the, the methyl carbon is actually connected to a carbonyl carbon which constantly draws electrons from this environment. Similarly, we have uh, a proton connected that to the nitrogen which is also highly deshielded. Down here we have the spectrum uh, simply graphically representing the numerical data for the chemical shifts. And there you go, that is it. <laughs>